We all have mental health. If we all have it, we can all look after it. So where to begin? Point to your nose. Point to your eyes. Point to your prefrontal cortex. Say what? If we want to know how to take care of our mental health, we need to know about our brain. So let me tell you a story about the animals that represent key parts of your mind. Meet the wise owl, the prefrontal cortex. It helps you make good decisions and problem solve. Next up is the guard dog, the amygdala, which if it senses danger, helps you fight, freeze or flee. This next character is the sifting sooty, the Raz. Have you ever been told to focus? The sifting sooty does just this. It can block out loads of distractions so you can concentrate on what's important. Finally, meet the elephant who tries to remember, the hippocampus. It helps you lock in information and store memories. Hang on. Can you see someone else hiding there? Introducing a master of disguise, the sensitive octopus, the insular cortex. Your octopus helps you to be a good friend. It can imagine how someone else might be feeling, which is one of the superpowers for a healthy friendship. Everything is going smoothly when the animals are talking to each other. You can focus, make wise decisions, remember things, be a good friend and feel safe. But sometimes your guard dog treats everyday stresses and setbacks, such as making a mistake or an argument with a friend, as a serious threat. That sweet little dog can get very big and bossy, and this can make it super hard for the other animals to do their jobs. Here's the thing. We can learn to recognize when our guard dog is getting big and be taught ways to shrink it. We can also learn daily practices that support our other animals, boost our mental well-being, and, with any luck, enable us to flourish. Because life is full of ups and downs. We will all stumble, trip, stuff up, freak out and fail. That's okay, so long as we know the tools to help us get back up again. Having good people around us makes the getting up again easier. And there are loads of things we can start practicing now that might help us in the future. Come and learn about them with us and choose the tools that work for you.